Hello, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Renata and in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you a mini pattern haul as well as my December sewing plans. I'm really excited for this month. I have so much planned and today is already the 7th so when this video goes live I may have already started to work on my various projects. So if you guys are interested and really want to know what is going on in my sewing space for the month of December, please meet me in the next section. Okay, so let's take a look at the fabrics that I have. I believe I only have about four or five fabrics. Some are gifted from Minerva and the others I purchased. So let me go grab the first fabric and I will start sharing them now. Okay, so this first fabric looks like a tomato red. It is so bright and very beautiful. It has a lovely texture to it, a really nice design. I'm going to come up really close here soon so that you guys can take a good look and actually see the drape, the textures in this fabric. I visited San Antonio a few weeks ago when I purchased my Little Red Dress Project fabric. And at that time I was like, oh, maybe I want something extra. So this is what I picked up. It is more of a jersey style um, material. It has a stretch. Here we go. It's got some stretch, really nice. So for this, I picked up one and a half yards of fabric. I feel like I'm going to make something that has a little statement sleeve, something that's very simple in the front, maybe something going on wow in the back. So here I'm going to bring it up close so you guys can take a look at the texture right there. Isn't that super pretty? It's very cute and I think the textures look really nice and they'll add a lot of depth to the blouse that I plan to make. I don't have anything really set for this fabric at the moment. I would love to get some of your thoughts down below. Please share any patterns that you think would work really good for this. Like I said, I'm looking for something that's really simple in the front, probably has a nice detail sleeve and the back could be a wow factor. So it could be a deep V in the back, it could be no back, just something really wow for this beautiful red fabric. And I picked this up at Fabriktopia in San Antonio. If, if you are in the San Antonio area, then you are lucky enough to head over there and possibly pick this up if it's something that interests you. Let's move on to the next fabric I picked up at Fabriktopia. Fabric number two. This is more of a deep red a satin a fabric. It doesn't have too much stretch, it just has a little stretch. I picked up about seven and a half yards for my pattern for the Little Red Dress project. I think it's beautiful. It has a lovely drape. It, the hand is beautiful. It's really, really nice. And I'll share a secret with you guys after I share the next fabric that was purchased for the Little Red Dress project. So this is it, it's beautiful, it has a really nice drape and the price was right and I really like the fabric, I love the flow and the feel. So that is fabric number two. Let me just get the chiffon that would work with this project. Fabric number three from Fabriktopia is this, it's just there's a lot of fabric here. There is approximately eight yards of fabric. It is a red chiffon, and I really uh, wasn't sure if it was the right color to go with my my satin, and it, it works really well. It's very nice. It would make a really nice overlay on this dress project. However, <laughs> bombshell, 
This is not the fabric that I will be using anymore for my little red dress project. The main project, which is this dress here. I'm not using this fabric. I just don't think it has what I need to create a really boom, wow, in your face, amazing jaw dropping dress. So I ordered a new fabric yesterday and fingers crossed it's going to arrive here on time for me to work on that project. And I have to say, I have been reading the instructions over and over just so that once the fabric gets here and I cut it, I am ready to go like a mean machine stitching all through the night to get this dress completed. Now, done with all my fabric topia purchases, I'm going to share with you my next fabric and then the gifted ones. So hold on one sec while I spin around and go grab those. Okay, so the next fabric I have to share is a, a knit fabric. I know you're gonna be like, oh, black fabric, that's amazing, Renata. We've never thought about black fabric for the holiday season. But the thing is, I almost passed this up and when you look at this fabric, this is what the inside is. I was like really like, wow, I was, I was speechless because I saw something kind of glittering in the fabric because on the bolt, it was like this on the bolt. So this is, this is all you could see on the bolt. I'm like, well, that's really great. They have it in the special occasion section and it's really kind of <laughs> boring. And I saw the glitters hanging down and then I was like, okay, this is my fabric. I'm going to take it and I'm going to make something amazing for this season. I love how this fabric feels. It has a really good like drape and the uh, recovery is so good. So you can make really nice fitted dresses with this and know that it is not going to sag, it's not going to crumple, it's going to come back in the original shape that you sewed it in and you're going to be confident with this one. So yeah, if you guys have somewhere to go and you need a beautiful wow fabric, head over to Joann's and check this one out. Currently it is on sale. Today is December 7th, so bear that in mind when you are looking for this fabric. Okay, next fabric. These are gifted to me from Minerva, so I'm going to be working on them really soon here. While I wait for my little red dress of fabric to come, I'm going to work on a few of these, not all, probably one. <laughs> Actually, I'll probably work on one of these for this month, and then, yeah, let's just, uh, just dig in. So the first one is a knit fabric. It's really pretty. I like the color. I thought it would look good for the holiday season. So it's not overly like Christmas and you can only wear it once. It just has this sort of festive feel without being like ho 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 everywhere you go. It's really subtle but it's there. You can see that it could be possibly a festive piece and it wouldn't look out of place but in my mind it's a casual fabric so it's a casual event probably going to the the christmas tree like farm or going shopping on the holiday and you just want to look a little brighter this is a really nice fabric it also has a very very good recovery. Let's bring this one up closer so you guys can see. The colors there are beautiful. It has a lot of like muted tones and I think that's why I like it because it's muted but the red really pops in there and I think it would make a really beautiful top or sweater. Something really fitted but has details on the sleeve. And since I brought this fabric super close, let me go grab the previous one, the black fabric, and just bring that closer so you guys can see it. Because I don't think I did that. One sec. Okay, here it is, really, really close. 
There it is. Can you guys see that? Isn't that just beautiful? Awesome. Okay, let's move on to the next fabric from Minerva. Okay, so this one is another knit fabric. Why I chose this one has a lot to do with floral fabrics and them just being on a darker background, just being more earthy and just more, um, I'm looking for the right word. It's just pleasant, clean, it's calming, it's not so bold and in your face, just stimulating you constantly. It's not a constant stimulating fabric, but it's beautiful nonetheless. And I love this print. It is a jersey, well, it is a knit fabric. Um, I'm not sure about the content, but once I do my video reveal of whatever I decide to sew this with, I'll give you all the details on this fabric. It's just super beautiful and I think it's going to make a beautiful dress, but I'm not sure what pattern would work well with it. So let's bring it closer so you guys can get a nice look at the fabric. And then let's see if I can get a corner so I can show you the stretch of this. It definitely is more of a polyester fabric. I just don't have the content on hand for you guys but it's a beautiful print and I think it will look amazing for this season and reason is basically for holiday winter I just think these colors just really speak for me during this season they're muted they're a little darker a little serious but still very polished so for this, if I don't make some sort of fitted dress with a little flow or gathering, I was thinking about making a really nice turtleneck and then a skirt, so separates, which is something that I don't do often at all. Like I hardly ever do separates. I only make dresses or tops and I want to change that in 2022 by making more skirts and more pants. Okay, let's move on to the very last fabric from Minerva and the last fabric that I'll be sharing today. This one is just so beautiful. I love it. It is a cotton lawn fabric from Lady McElroy. Look at this beautiful design. All the faces are so pretty on here. They have so many different faces they're beautiful i love this fabric and i had to have it i had to jump on and say this one says renata get it to me asap i love this i think i want to make a shirt with this something that has a lot of details probably pintuckin or a full sleeve statement sleeve but definitely a longer shirt so I can tuck it in because I think it would look really nice as a tucked shirt but I don't want a boring design. I don't have anything in mind right now but I think it's going to look really pretty. Yeah. It will also look nice as a dress. I have three yards so I could make a shirt and a mini gathered skirt or something but as you guys can see it's a really nice lawn fabric and it's just so pretty with all the colors. I think this is going to be an amazing make. So there you have it guys those are my new fabric in the space for the month of november and i cannot wait to start attacking it thank you so much for watching this video i hope that you enjoyed it if you did i would love for you to click the subscribe button don't forget to leave all your comments down below head over to instagram where you can follow my handle at the twilight stitcher and see all that's going on in my sewing space and in my life thank you again and i'll talk to you guys real soon bye bye <laughs>